Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And we work in the project management team within the Bathing Rivers programme. And we're here today in Coventry to look at the installation of a storm storage tank. So we're at the location where we're going to be building a new rectangular tank adjacent to the existing rectangular tanks here at Finham Sow Inlet. Behind me you can see the existing tanks and our excavation for where the new tank is going to be seated. So let's go and have a closer look. So where we're stood now is the base of the tank. This is where the, the, the bottom of the tank will be sitting. We're going to be putting a 40 metres by 60 metres rectangular tank around the edges of this excavation that's going to be connected into the existing rectangular tanks behind me. The new tank in storm conditions is going to fill and drain primarily by gravity uh, with a small section that's going to be pumped out of the sump that we're going to have a look at next. So behind me is where we are constructing the sump of the new tank. We've recently completed the 77 piles that will hold the base of the tank and we're starting to excavate and um, expose the rebar from the tops of the piles to connect the base of the tank into. And that area there will be the lowest part of the tank. So once the tanks are cleaned using the tipping buckets, all of the solids and the leftovers will be drained down into that sump and pumped back to the existing uh, storms returns well at the start of the works. You might be wondering how this project helps the environment. Well, during extreme rainfall events, there's too much flow coming into a treatment works to treat it all at the same time. Now, normally this will spill into nearby watercourses, but with this project in place, excess flow will be treated and then returned back into the treatment work as opposed to spilling into the river. Thanks for watching our video today. And if you want to learn more about how we're reducing the impact to our watercourses, head on over to our website.